today grade 5 uh, lesson is uh, second term lesson second term last few lesson answers that means I have already uploaded to the Google Classroom uh, documentary two documentaries two files important lessons and not grade 5 and vocabulary the jishman ele is not not vocabulary of judgment and other notes combining these two uh, lesson notes combining these two files the answers today we are going to see as our video right let's get started There you find out a question conjugations conjugate in present tense and I have already highlighted all the answers first one fair do judo fair do judo means to do judo we learned in second term fair verb has lot of meanings to do to make to play to write to read like that so many meanings there with the verb fair so je fais du judo. Tu fais du judo. Il elle on fait du judo. Je fais du judo means I am doing judo or I do judo. Tu fais du judo means you are doing judo or you do judo. Il elle on fait du judo. He, she or oh, one does judo. No fais on du judo. We are doing judo or we do judo. Vous faites du judo. You are doing judo. Il elle font du judo. They. Masculine plural they is il. Elle feminine plural they. Font du judo. They do judo. Right. Repeat after me. Je fais du judo. Tu fais du judo. Il elle on fait du judo. Nous faisons du judo. Who fait du judo? Il elle font du judo. Remember the conjugation? Je fait and tu fait. Il elle on, we have a fait. Nous faisons. Who fait? Il elle font. Second exercise. Fair de la gymnastique. Same question. Conjugate in present tense. Same way. Je fait de la gymnastique. Tu fait de la gymnastique. Il elle on fait de la gymnastique. Nous faisons de la gymnastique. Vous faites de la gymnastique. Il elle font de la gymnastique. Let's have a look on this grammatical important part. Les adjectifs interrogatifs. Les adjectifs means adjectives. Interrogative means interrogative or questions. So these are special interrogative question forms. Special interrogative question forms. In English, we have what, which, which can you the idea, what, which. In French, to tell what, which as a interrogative adjective form. That means this adjective is a question and which explains a noun. Adjective is a question which explains a noun. That's why we call it this adjective interrogative. So there are four forms in, in, in French language. Kel, 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 Kel. This QVU, EL, Kel is for masculine singular. QVU, E, double L, E, Kel is for feminine singular. QVU, E, L, S, Kel for masculine plural. QVU, E, double L, E, S, plural for feminine plural. The question word what or which when indicating a noun that interrogative word two changes according to the gender. In English, what which won't change. But in French language, there are four forms. When the noun is masculine singular, you have to use kel. When the noun is feminine singular, you have to use this form, kel. When the noun is masculine plural, you have to use this form, qu, e, l, s. Feminine plural, you have to use this form, q, v, u, e, double l, e, s. Now let's see some examples. A. Quel est ton nom? Sorry. Quel est ton prénom? Quel est ton prénom? What is your first name? Quel est ton prénom? The prénom is 
masculine singular so ton is coming there and the question word is give you el quel quel eta camionet prefer quel eta camionet prefer what is your favorite truck or oh, van you have the meaning truck van quel eta camionet prefer feminine singular Camionet is feminine singular, so prefer adjective was used in feminine singular, and the question word you see it is changing to give you e double l. Quel sont tes effets personnels? What are your belongings? Quel sont tes effets personnels? Tes effets per personnels means your belongings. What are your belongings? Now the belongings word is. Masculine plural. The other question is "kill". "Kill" means what? This what? Describe the noun, the belongings. So again, the noun belongings is your belongings is masculine plural. The question word also becomes masculine plural. Same thing in the previous example. Masculine singular question word also masculine singular. The question word is adjective and the negative. When the question word is masculine singular, we have to use the correct form. When the question word is feminine singular, it is P U E double L. Question word is masculine plural P U E L S. Feminine plural P U E double L E S. Like that, see the other examples. Quel est ton village? Quel sont tes boissons favoris? What is your village? What are your favorite? Brings. Quelle est ta région? What is your region? Now, région means feminine singular. There I give you e l l e. Quel sont tes véhicules préférés? What are your favorite vehicles? It's masculine plural. There I give you e l s. Quelle est ta façon de parler le français? What is your way of learning French? So, what here explains your way of learning French? So they is feminine singular. They are by Q U E double L. Kele ton animal prefer? What is your favorite pet or favorite animal? So kel is their masculine singular. Kel son te repa prefer? Masculine plural. Let's see the other exercises you have to do. Exercise to do and show your work on Google Classroom. This exercise textbook. 100 page 100 second one textbook page 100 second one right. so what we learn is the is adjective and the adjective four forms they are kill kill masculine singular masculine plural kill feminine singular kill feminine plural why there are four forms the reason is according to the noun this adjective also that means this question adjective form Also changes according to the noun. When the uh, noun is masculine singular, we use this form. When the noun is feminine singular, like this, we use this form. When the noun is masculine plural, we use this form. Now the uh, when the noun is feminine plural, we use this form. Remember that thing. Uh, that always there is uh, a gender difference according to the gender di difference. Uh, interrogative adjective form so is adjective and interrogative change uh, then you have exercise to do page number 100 second one then we will see the possessive form now this is very important to note out children possessive form when we consider in french language and in english language there is a difference there what is that different the difference is in english language If we tell about possession form, it is we consider about the possessor. For example, I I tell I have a car. So the person I is very important there. In French also we give important to possessor, but a very little importance. Most of the attention is to the object or the person. The possessive form formed in French according to the object or person. Right. First of all, we will see mon ma me, mon ami, my friend. So my friend, we consider the friend word according to that 
মন মিস ইউজড মে মন আমি মাই ফ্রেন্ড ফিল ইস আমি ইস ম্যাসকুলিন ফ্রেন্ড ইস ইস ফেমিনিন ফ্রেন্ড সো রিমেম্বার মন ইন ফ্রান্ট অফ এনি সিঙ্গুলার নাউন ম্যাসকুলিন অফ ফেমিনিন স্টার্টিং উইথ দ্য ভাওয়েল ও সাইলেন্ট এইচ উই ইউজ মন any in front of any singular noun it can be masculine or feminine but should start with a vowel or silent h then m o n mon mon frère my brother lisa also can tell my brother kevin also can tell my brother so whoever tells my brother in french should be translated as mon frère because we give most importance attention to the object of the person person rather than to the processor that is very important note out ma table ma table means my table so in front of a feminine singular noun starting with a consonant we use ma ma table fifth one me table in front of any plural noun so remember mon there are two usages in front of a singular noun starting with a vowel or silent h and second usage is in front of a masculine singular noun starting with a consonant then ma you use for in front of a feminine singular noun starting with a consonant me in front of any plural noun mon ma and me so we find out always the different between english to french in english you have only always my but french have in french language there are three forms what are those three forms mon ma and me so the same rhythm we use for your ton ta te to tell you i we use ton ta te his her son sa se i think in grade four, three also you learn this lesson so anyhow this is like a revision for you and to remember the previous things but remember always mon ma me idam we have use mon we have to use ton when we want to uh, tell the meaning of your we use son when we want to tell the meaning of his or her why this his or her coming because i told you the we give most importance to the person not to the possessor very most important we give the importance for the possessor but not that much in french language it is for the person okay right Let's move on to the exercises. Fill in the blanks using mon ma me, mon belo me papie ma bute, mon kanif mon hotel me let. You can see the format there to get how I wrote the answers. How do you want to write the answers correctly according to the form? Masculine singular mon, masculine singular me, feminine singular ma, and masculine singular mon is starting with the consonant. and uh, silent h is the hotel they are in mom same way fill in the blanks using ton ta te ton stilo masculine singular te kaiye te libre te zami ton nami uh, ta bonk so we can see here the d1 a plural form thereby we use te ton ami starting with a vowel so ton te because of it's a plural form kai ye also plural form still a masculine singular word starting with a consonant s so to third one fill in the blanks using son sa se son crayon se voiture se image son image son nom se image because it's plural form son image because it's singular form starting with i letter son nom because it is a singular form starting with a vowel then sonami now look at this this one also sonami this one also sonami no changes but you can translate this his friend or her friend because i told you most of the attention is given for the noun or the person for the object rather than the uh, for the person possessor then you have to do this exercise so there are many exercises you can do leisurely and uh, after doing please uh, show your work in your google classroom and i can go through that and evaluate and anything to uh, any comment to put i can put the comment 
or else you can uh, see the video and you can down in the uh, YouTube channel on my YouTube channel some French Pro YouTube channel you can put the comments down and uh, or questions you want to ask or any comments you can put it and you can uh, get the answer I will definitely go through each comment and give the answer for you to get the lesson clear right exercises uh, textbook page number 100 the third one may shows prefer a see page number 101 workbook exercises page number 30 31 32 there are many exercises but it's easy if you understood these forms correctly all the exercises if you did certain exercises you can ignore those but it, you should be sure you have done just for chilling don't tell if you have already completed you can ignore them and you have to complete the remaining and show me on google classroom or you put a comment on my under the youtube channel and uh, then i can see and uh, give my comments remarks on the work you done then translate into english this is what two translation to write son pair his father her father sorry to the possessor Processor can be changed, but we give we write the song form according to pair because the pair is the word noun in French, which is masculine singular. So it is some pair. So some pair has two meanings: then his father, her father; sa sir, his sister, her sister; son anniversary, his birthday, her birthday. So here we see. Two translation because in French language this when we translate you can have two meanings two possessors there in my you are also you can it can my can be a masculine person my can be a feminine person you are also same so his and her we use this sonsa say form we can see there are two translations possible for that son hotel his hotel her hotel some sport prefer his favorite sport, her favorite sport. Then other things, notre no, votre vo, votre vo, le le. It's very easy, super easy. It's super easy because notre, votre and le, notre, votre and le is used for masculine idea, sorry, is used for singular idea is used for singular idea it can be masculine singular or feminine singular can start with the vowel silent it doesn't matter if the noun is singular if the noun is singular you can use not for tell the idea our if it is plural you use no in noise no to tell the idea our plural form votre for your vo for the plural form le they are singular form le plural form so you can see the examples exercises there fill in the blanks you see notre no notre ami notre ami notre table no zimash no what why a b c are singular form these two are plural form same way with votre vo votre moto vo velo votre premier vo kai Fill in the blanks using le, le, le autocolon. Autocolon means stickers. Le autocolon, le restaurant, le restaurant, see the different. Le portable, le portable, le loi. Right. So, considering these things, you have to do this exercise. Possessive form textbook exercise, page number 101. Seven page number 102 second and third and page number 103 sixth, uh, sixth. then workbook exercises page 33 34 exercises so try to complete as uh, far as possible you can complete uh, and uh, show your work to me then i can evaluate your work and remark related to your uh, exercise work i can put the Remark for each uh, each answers each copies you can see. So take a clear photo, and it should be clear and uh, 
take a clear photo and put it in I can see to that today. right now children we will see a dialogue complete a dialogue complete using the one of the words given within bracket second ton anniversary when is your birthday sale van may this now song at the this now it is 20th may 1999 kele ta kula prefer what is your favorite color ma kula prefer a le rouge le jaune le vert you can use any word for that and complete ma kula prefer a means my favorite color is red now in english we tell my favorite color is red but in french language extra le article is coming in front of rouge Second ton anniversary, celebrant may this now song at the end this now. Kele ta kula prefer e, ma kula prefer e e le rouge. Kele aash aati, how old are you? Je du zon, I am 12 years old. Kele ta matiya prefer e, what is your favorite subject? Ta matiya prefer e, look at matiya is feminine, ya bai prefer e is also feminine, ya bai ta is also feminine, question word ke lo sa ke. It's very logical in French. According to the gender matter, everything can change. This adjective interrogative changes. This adjective possessive changes. Interrogative question words change. Possessive form change. And adjective also changes. Not that very careful. A very important thing. Keleta Matia prefere ma Matia prefere a le France. A le maths. Use a word from here and write. Quel temps fait-il chez toi? What is the weather like in your home? Il fait chaud chez moi. It is very hot in our around our home. It is the weather, 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 uh, weather condition. Okay. Now we will see. Repeat after me. Slowly we will read, then fastly we will see. Second, ton anniversary. Sailavant me this no song after and this. Kele ta kula prefer e. Ma kula prefer e e le rouge. Kelaash aati. Je du zon. Kele ta matiyar prefer e. Ma matiyar prefer e e le france. Kel tam fe til che toa. Il fe sho che moa. Now we will see first in how in France they are pronounced. Second one is the Sylvain May this is not the same. Quel est ta couleur préférée? Ma couleur préférée est le rouge. Quel âge as-tu? J'ai 12 ans. Quel est ta matière préférée? Ma matière préférée est le français. Quel est ton fait chez moi? Il fait chaud chez moi. Second one is the Sylvain May this is not the same. Quel est ta couleur préférée? Ma couleur préférée est le rouge. Quel âge as-tu? J'ai 12 ans. Quel est ta matière préférée? Ma matière préférée est le foncé. Quel est ton fait chez toi? Il fait chaud chez moi. Then we will see the letter one. Le vocabulaire de jugement. Le vocabulaire of giving the judgment. Très. Très. Assez. Assez. Si, si, vraiment, vraiment, intéressant, intéressant, ennuyeux, ennuyeux, new, new, super, super, génial, génial, difficile, difficile, facile, facile, utile. Utile. Je déteste. Je déteste. J'adore. J'adore. Je n'aime pas. Vous pouvez lire ici le vocabulaire de jugement. Très. Assez. Si. Vraiment. Intéressant. Ennuyeux. Nul. Super. Génial. Difficile. Facile. Utile, je déteste, 
jador jamin pa now children observe these dialogues and you have to make some mini dialogues les max je trouve ça vraiment super et toi i found i find math subject is superb and what about you moi je n'aime pas les math c'est difficile i don't like math it's very difficult les math je trouve ça vraiment super et toi moi je n'aime pas les math c'est difficile le français, je trouve ça vraiment utile. Et toi, moi, je trouve ça intéressant. French, I feel very useful and I feel it very interesting. I like it because it's interesting. Third one, je déteste les maths. C'est très difficile et ennuyeux. Et toi, moi, je j'adore les maths. C'est très facile. I hate maths because it's very difficult and it's very boring. What about you? I love maths. It's very easy. So what you have to do, children, you have to change the words and the comment and have to make a conversation. For example, you can tell. Uh, we tell um, example uh, geography. La geography. Je trouve ça vraiment intéressant. Et toi? Moi, je n'aime pas la geography. C'est ennuyeux. You means boring. So you have the vocabulary here. You have to use the vocabulary and make it. Another one. Le français je trouve ça vraiment utile. Et toi, moi, je trouve ça super, génial. Je déteste les maths. C'est très difficile. Et toi, moi aussi. Mani tu? Je déteste les maths. Et tu, I hate maths. C'est très difficile. Like that, you can write many, many conversations. Use the vocabulary here to write the conversations. So that's that's it today. It's a extra lesson like that for the second term final lessons to cover up. That's what I wanted to target on. So children, please go through these exercises, go through these answers, and see your exercises and compare them. I will definitely. Uh, upload this file also for your references uh, on 27th so uh, you can now do the uh, exercises uh, of the textbook and workbook i gave and whenever you finish you can show your copy to me or else you can compare uh, you can yes you have to show your copy to me and i can evaluate and do a remark for that you take a photo good photo of those answers and show to me uh, to Google Classroom, then I will see to it and I will do my remark on your work. And uh, always, always remember to read these words as much as possible, uh, to communicate, tell these words. You can over and over again listen to these videos and see how I am pronouncing and try to pronounce like that two, three times, then you will get. Use the French accent. So, and remember to subscribe to my channel, Sandwich French Flow. Then go through all the lessons. Don't miss any lesson. Don't miss any uh, any exercise. Please complete all the lesson. I ask very kindly for everyone, all the children, to do these exercises. Complete those first lesson, second lesson, and third lesson of the third term, and this special lesson of the second term last thing. Because some children asked me questions on second term last lesson so i thought about making a video for this is really useful that okay hope you got the idea today with our lesson i will see in the next lesson next day